What's happening, everybody? Kevin here from SportsBoxBreaks.com, coming at you live Monday night, November 29th, 2021, breaking 2021 Tops Archives Baseball. This is Choose Team Case Break number three. Uh, thanks so much for getting it filled, guys. Who has who in this break? Arizona Diamondbacks going to Greg S. We got the Braves and the Orioles for Corey H. We got the Boston Red Sox for James D. Cubbies for Mike T, the White Sox for Doug F, the Reds for Eddie P. We got the Indians and the Rockies for Corey H. We got the Tigers for Ralph G. We got the Astros for Tony K. We got the Royals for Robert T. We have the Angels for Doug F. Dodgers for Chris I. The Marlins for Greg S. The Brewers for Doug F. The Twins for Doug F. The Mets for Nathan H. The Yankees for Tommy K. We got the A's for Ralph G. Uh, Philadelphia Phils, Joe W, the Pirates going to Mark C, the San Diego Padres for Corey H, Giants, Nathan H, uh, the Mariners for Nick T, Cardinals for Matthew R, Tampa Bay Rays for James B, Texas Rangers, Richard W, Toronto Blue Jays going to Nathan H, and the Washington Nationals going to Joe W. All right, guys, here we go. Archives break number three happening right now. Archives break number four is fully sold out. That will be coming up next. This is a full sealed case. Showing you the top, showing you the bottom. I'm going to open it from the bottom. And if you're new to our breaks and you're like, why is he opening on the bottom? Just because the boxes come out of here right side up when I do it. That's it. Guys, all cards will be shipping to you. We are one of the only breakers still left in the industry after all these years that are still shipping all the cards. For now, we're going to keep doing it. The U.S. Postal Service is not making it easy for us to keep offering that. Each of these packages probably costs like nine plus dollars to ship out, which is crazy. All right, here we go. Ten boxes. Each box has a topper, poster topper built into it. Let's see what we got on the first poster. We got the Killer Bees starting us off. Killer Bees. Bagwell Biggio. So Astros recipient on the first poster. Let's see if these packs, I can't imagine they're any different. Each one of these Archives baseball packs has been super difficult to uh, open up. Let's see. I want to be that way. All right, guys, settle in, make a coffee, do something. you got about 90 minutes worth of break in front of you on this one, and then about 90 minutes on the next one. Three hours with this voice. Can you deal with it? So you guys still eating uh, Thanksgiving leftovers? We barely ate any of them. They're sitting in the fridge. And Kathy says to me today, oh, today's the last day for leftovers. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, oh, it's like, you know, there was like a news story out there saying that, you know, if you got Thanksgiving leftovers, today is like the last day they're supposed to still stay good in the fridge. Like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> you really want the answer? You could always just put some different audio on and watch the video, Trav. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm really fond of doing lately? I watch a lot of YouTube and um, really, really fond of 1.25 speed and 1.5 speed when it comes to watching like 20 minute long videos. So if I was on the buying side and I'm watching this tomorrow, I would definitely be watching it at like 1.5 or 2x speed just to uh, get to the good stuff. Guys, and if you're, I was talking about this a little bit uh, last week when we were doing the breaks, and I know Jay talks about it all the time, but if you're wondering why you don't see a lot of the new release products showing up on the website, congrats, cards with logos. <laughs> yes, sir, Tom, cards with logos. Panini is a tough sell on the baseball side of things, although people, you know, 
people do buy them. But as I was saying, we were talking about this last week and stuff. If you're wondering why you're not seeing some of the new release products popping up on the website, it's purely because we're struggling to get some of this stuff filled up. So we have an easier time selling off the full sealed boxes and cases to some of our buyers than we do uh, the breaks. So it's kind of like bittersweet because we've established ourselves as a breaking operation for the last eight years. And a lot of the new release, like new to market stuff, we have our hands on it, but we can't we can't break it because it'll be like sitting there for weeks and we'll just end up taking a big loss on it. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a weird dynamic of what's going on. So just letting you guys know, keeping you in the loop. All right, let me get the camera focused on in. I mean, if uh, prices get corrected across the board from the manufacturer level down through the wholesale level, then, uh, you know, things could change. But that's the way it is right now. All right, guys, every card will be shipping to you. Tops 140 of Trey Turner and Kyle Lewis. Bazooka, Shining Star, Casey Mize. Jared Kalenic, 2018 draft pick, Campanella, and Shane McClanahan. This is the same way I watch. Yes, that's <laughs> exactly right. All right, what do we got? I see something coming up here. What do we got? Mike Piazza, that is going to be number to 150. So 150 for the Mets. Alec Bohm. Slam Diego. Francisco. We got a 140 of Killebrew. Know that I've got a bunch of uh, this ahead of me. I'm going to try to go at a faster pace than my usual snail pace. Ricky. Got a Kesta in 70 years. Tatis. The Lake Street Bombers. And here we go. Shannon Stewart for the Twins. Going to be our first auto. So Minnesota Twins going to Zeus. Doug F. Nice looking auto. Common trend with this stuff. The autos are really nice looking. Shannon Stewart auto to start us off going to Doug. Rod Carew, Eddie Murray. Over there they go. Kirilov. Remind me again, two autos or one auto? Two on-card autos, right? Yes, so two on-card autos. Green coming up here of Xander. <clears throat> that is going to be to 125 for the Red Sox. Little Uncle Larry again. Killer bees. Guys, do me a favor. I know we got a decent amount of thumbs ups on the video, but let's get more. The more thumbs ups on the video, the more visible it becomes to other people looking to get involved in breaks tonight. So that's what it's at. All right. I was going to say, did I pass one off, or is it just real late in the stack? It is real late in the stack. White Sox on the board for Doug again. So Doug picked up both of the teams in this one that had the autos. Clean sweep of the box. Scott Posendik, Posednik. White Sox auto. Going off to Zeus. So picking up the Twins auto and the White Sox auto for you, Doug. Roger Clemens and a Sanchez right there. All right, one box down. Nine to go. Guys, the personal giveaway is still in effect. If you pick up any personal boxes that total up 100 bucks or more, uh, for every $100 box you pick up, you're going to have an entry into that giveaway. We're going to be giving away a Ronald Acuna autographed jersey. 
The Black Ace is on the next one here, St. Louis. So this one is a uh, multi-team uh, poster. So top to bottom, left to right. So we're going to be looking at that on the placement based on that. So St. Louis. And that's empty right there. Come on. All right, one stack. All right, here we go, box number two, guys. Let's look for those autos. Let's look for some color. If I pass anything off that is like any kind of, of interest card, let me know before I get too far past it. I'll try to sift it back out. And here we go. We got an orange of Sandberg for the Cubbies. There we go. Very nice. Four out of 15. Cubs going off to the Pizza Man Mike. There you go, buddy. We pulled several oranges. We pulled the red hot foils a bunch of times across this stuff. There's our first orange out of this one. And it's a nice one for you, Mike. Congrats. The big three. The first couple cases I did of this stuff had a lot of orange. What felt like um, maybe even too much orange for the cases. So let's see if that trend keeps going. Hey, Piscataway Mike, what's going on, buddy? The Big Red Machine. All right, that's one side. We're still due both of our autos, and we've pulled a nice orange. I see a green hiding down in there. Like father, like son. Dylan Carlson. Acuna Jr. I think we're still do both of our autos, are we not? Yes, I think we are. 
<laughs> oh, that is nice. And it's a silver border around it. Paul de Young for the Cardinals. And it is one of the peel off 1963 peel off autographs, and it's 14 of 99. Very nice. St. Louis Cardinals going off to Matthew R. Nice hit there, Matthew. Good stuff there. We've pulled a few of those. I think that's the first one that had color on it, too. Holding out for some good Yankee stuff. You got it, buddy. Hopefully we can make it happen. All right, Jack Flaherty Green. That is going to be to 125. And uh, let's hope that there's another auto in this small little stack because we're due one. And there it is. How about some old school Dodgers? Very nice. Dodgers going to Chris I. Carl Erskine. Old school Dodgers action. Brooklyn Dodgers. Congrats, bud. Really nice. They make you wait until the very end, don't they? Three cards away from the back, and there it shows up. So Dodgers on the board once again for Chris I. Congrats, sir. Alan Trammell and Jesus. Last card there. That's two boxes down. 20% of the way there, guys. 20% of the way. Third box. Who's our poster going to be? Our po There he is. There's Uncle Larry again. Uncle Larry, Philadelphia Phils. That's Joe W. Joe, you got two of those now. I think you had that first one that uh, Travis had pulled when he had the Phils in, in uh, break number one. That should be your second one, I believe. And that's an empty box. Joe, is it you that was telling me you work for Omaha? Somebody was in the chat a couple weeks ago saying that yeah, they actually work for like Omaha Steaks, Omaha Meats. Erskine, 90 years old and a nicer looking auto than most of the current players. You're, you're right, uh, Mike. You are right. That is not a bad looking auto for a man that's a uh, man that is older. reason I'm talking about Omaha Steaks is uh, two days ago, uh, like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night, a delivery shows up outside my front door. It's a big batch of Omaha meats. One of my buddies that I've been friends with since I'm a kid just randomly uh, sent like a huge batch of like Omaha Steaks for my birthday. That was the week prior. I was really shocked. And uh, I'll be eating those right up. Oddly enough, the exact same day is when my contractor finished. We had a built-in barbecue uh, put in in the backyard. It's been being worked on for the last, like, two and a half weeks. He finishes that day, and then uh, Omaha Steaks is at the front door the same day. The sweet karma. Yeah, the timing worked out great. Timing worked out great. You know, what doesn't work out great is the amount of freezer space we have. <laughs> That's like we're struggling to get this stuff in there, but uh, it won't be in there for too long.
All right, last pack right here, box three. Let's just go with this stack right away. And your dad has worked there for almost 40 years. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And right away, guys, right away, Rocco Baldelli, manager card for the Twins. So I'm going to just double check. Obviously, he's uh, with the Twins organization, but... Uh, yeah, Minnesota Twins, of course. I'm just double-checking to see if uh, something weird is going on. Some of these, like, you know, non-player cards, like the sports broadcaster cards from MLB Network and stuff, aren't associated with uh, any major league team, but clearly Rocco being a manager card for the Twins is associated with the Twins. So the Twins going to uh, Zeus, Doug F., getting a manager card, Rocco Baldelli. All right, that's auto number one. We'll probably see one of those... MLB network cards. I've seen one, I think, in both cases so far. All right, Don Mattingly with the, some numbering. 150 on that one. So there's a little something-something to get the Yankees going. Don Mattingly to 150. Joe, was uh, was Omaha always a mail order company, or did they kind of like shift their focus back when like the mail order stuff? They were like the first of the, their kind to do the the mail order foods, I believe, right? I see red hot foil coming up here, guys. Yeah, buddy, Nick Castellanos, Reds. That is going to be thirty-two out of fifty. Reds on the board for Eddie. Eddie getting it. Red Hot Foil. My Oh My, the 95 Mariners. Trent Grisham, Pearson, Torres, and Marquez. Oh, worldwide shipping. Interesting. I feel like, I don't know, maybe the 90s? Was it the 90s? They kind of, like, really got a lot of national notoriety and people, like, on the retail side started doing the mail order. I see red coming up again. Maybe the 80s, even. Yes, I'm old. All right, here we go, here we go. What do we got? Stan and the man. How about some Cardinals? Red to 75. Very nice. Who's got the Cardinals in this one? That is Matthew R. Matthew. Let's find those autos. We found one. Do one more. Big Poppy. Uncle Larry. And here it is. Uh, Ramos Ramirez for the Cubbies. So the Cubbies, the recipient on this one. Pizza Man, Mike T. Getting it. Cubbies auto coming your way, Mike. Sanders and a Clemens. Any color hiding up in here? Swing and A's. And Luis Garcia, last card in that one. All right, we are one, two, three boxes in, right? 30% of the way. Here comes number four. I'm going to need like, I don't know, five minutes maybe in between uh, this one and the next one, maybe 10 minutes. Catch my breath, take a drink. 90 minute back to back. We got the big three. Zito Hudson and Mulder for the A's. Guys, can we get that other recon filled up tonight? We've probably lost our basketball crowd considering that they were watching while the basketball break was happening, but recon basketball is now down to five. So it would be awesome if that one goes tonight. It'll ship out in the same batch as the uh, break number one. 
So keep that in mind. The sooner we get it filled, the sooner it ships out. I was saying this to Jay earlier today. Once a lot of these breaks are sold off, the website's going to look pretty empty, guys. Doesn't mean we're going anywhere. It just means that, uh, you know, a lot of stuff is finally getting off the shelf. I remember I used to come upon some uh, other breakers, like other breakers in the industry, and they would have like maybe two or three active breaks up there at any given time, and we would have like 35. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, we might have been overstocked, but you got you to gotta have the product to be able to sell it, right? All right, there's one side. Guys, box wars are up there too. Check out the box wars. Pretty popular format for um, for the Onyx vintage stuff that's up there in box war format. Fun way to do it. When you buy into those box wars, you're securing a whole box for yourself with the opportunity to score a second box based on the outcome of what's pulled. Jay's got those over in PA. Come on. All right, there's the next box. Here we go. Looking for the autos, looking for some numbered cards, looking for some color. Hey, our pleasure, Mike. It's uh, We're a dying breed for sure. We're a dying breed with uh, the fact that we do ship all the cards. And here it is. Guess what, Mike? You ask and you shall receive, sir. And that's a good looking auto. John Flaherty Auto for you for the Yankees. Tommy K. And Mike K. There you go, buddy. Flaherty. Congrats. There it is. Maybe we can even pull more. We're not even halfway through. Yankees tend to do pretty good in Topps products. Yep, we are a dying breed. Well, the U.S. Postal Service is not making it easy on us, right? Like their quote-unquote temporary holiday increases probably will never go down. So, okay. A priority envelope went from $7 and change to $8 and change. And uh, that just, you know, no end in sight. So, crazy stuff. How about a Trevor Rogers green rookie for Miami? That is going to be number to 125. Top-notch announcer for the Bronx Bombers. Got the Black Aces again. All right, that's one side. Let's see what our second auto looks like. And here it is. We got a Paul Loduca. Paul Loduca. So catch your autos all the way here in this box. Dodgers on the board for Chris I. Also good looking auto. A little number inscribed going on there. Good stuff. Dodgers. Yankees and the Dodgers. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's find some more orange or red hot foils or something else in here. 
I see these laces, and it almost looks like a black Sharpie on there. And I'm like, no, it is not. It is laces from the glove. The big three. All right, a little bit left here in this box. And I do see some color coming up. What do we got? We got a bell tray for the Rangers. That is going to be to 150. 130 of 150 for the Rangers. Is that right? Loduka, and now a noted horse racing analyst. All right, that'll do it for that one, guys. Chugging along, chugging along. Decent pace. All right, this next box will put us at the halfway mark once we get through it. Who's going to be? We got the big three poster. The big three once again, Glavin, Smoltz, and Maddox. Braves getting that poster. That's an empty box. Let's move these over a tad bit. Garbage cans filling up with packs, wrappers. All right, there's one side. Second side. All right, there's that. Let's pull some fire here, guys. Let's pull some fire. I think I might see more. I don't know. I was going to say I might see more orange in there. But it might just be a standard frame I'm looking at, like the wood frame. We got red hot foil. How about Tris Speaker? Cleveland Indians, old school red hot foil. Cleveland, this one goes to Corey. Very nice. 19 out of 50. 
19 out of 50 red hot foil. So the uh, low numbered stuff continues here. We're due more orange in this one. Slam Diego. I felt like Pete Alonzo was clinging to another card. Not the case. Got a Michael Brantley numbering to 150 for the Astros. This single card is just hanging on the bottom, does not want to lift up, and it was the Josh Donaldson. Nothing super of note on that one. And here it is. How about another uh, manager's card, this time on the Astros side? Little Dusty Baker. Houston Astros going off to Tony. Dusty Baker. Rocking some specs. Manager's card for the Strohs. And then Dick Allen right behind it. Let's keep going. There he is. Tony's out there. Andrew Vaughn, 2019 draft pick. By Young Ripken. Looking for the other auto. Should be popping up here any minute. This one is something, isn't it? With the red numbering to 75 on that one. The little Brandon Lau, 75. All right, is that it? Yes, it is. How about the Marlins? Dontrell Willis. Marlins belong to Greg S. Little pitcher action there. Dontrell Willis for the Marlins as the second auto. Luis Garcia and a Devers last two cards. Guys, we're halfway to the end point. So halfway there. Like the great poet bon John Bon Jovi once said. All right, here we go. Next box. Poster, swing and A's. So some of these posters, just an FYI, they've all come out like this, like directly out of the box with some like dingers as the way they're kind of like jammed in the box. So you might see some of that, but we do our best obviously to uh, package them up in some kind of cardboard, like a rigid piece of cardboard usually. <laughs> Living on a prayer. Exactly, Tony. I remember that uh, that album. I think that was Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet, right? Like their biggest album ever. Came out when I was a freshman in high school.
<laughs> I am, Travis. I am. I'm not even in my 40s anymore. Some of the local casinos out here do a uh, do a thing like do like 50% off like whatever on certain days for like those that are like considered seniors, quote unquote. And seniors is 50 and above. So like Kathy's got a running joke every time we go to one of these casinos like leading up to my birthday recently. She's like, oh, you're going to have to go and get your discounts now. And I'm like, damn straight I will. So now I officially have hit the discount bracket, although I have not taken advantage of the, dis the discounts yet. I may or may not have looked into seeing if uh, AERP is worth it. <laughs> uh, Cliff notes it is not worth it, according to a lot of sources on the internet. I love a good coupon, Travis. I love a good coupon code. Although apparently so do our customers, because nobody wants to buy anything until there's a huge 40% off coupon on the site, so cha-ching. All right, last pack. Here we go. What are we gonna find? I'd say a bazooka auto. Maybe, maybe not. And how about a Kyle Hendricks red hot foil? Cubbies, going to Mike. 18 out of 50 for you, Mike. So a lot of red hot foils coming up so far. Oh, I know you do, Trav. I'm busting balls, but uh, <laughs> a good deal of our customer base in recent months is looking for those coupons and hey we get it we get it Mookie Betts <laughs> and then you got high and then you got high Mount Castle Shining Star Waiting for something, and there it is. How about a uh, broadcaster, Jose Mota? So we, I think I pulled him in case number one, right? Case number one, he or case number two, because he is an Angels broadcaster, and according to the checklist, I'm going to look it up again in real time, but I think that Mota card is, in fact, an Angels card. Yeah, Jose Mota is Angels. So Angels going to Doug F on that one. Some of the other broadcaster cards are like MLB Network broadcaster cards, but Jose is uh, specifically for the Angels, of course. So that is an Angels card. And let's keep going. Yadier and Luis Garcia. And I think that was the whole stack, right? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Did I lose my place? Because here is... A number to 150 that I did not pull off to the side. Let me do a quick little look through. I'm pretty sure I actually looked through all of them except for the last little bit. Just double checking, satisfying my OCD. Yeah, we got them all. All right, that's one stack. Here comes the second side. Yeah, we've pulled that uh, we've pulled that Mota card in one of the past cases. Bobby Dalbeck, Devin Williams, Christian Yelich.
like father like son so this one is a multi-team card going on it is going to be an astros card based on the uh the team placement And here's another one with the red bordering going on. Numbering to 75, Matt Olson. Down to four. Dennis is snagging up another spot. Guys, recon basketball down to four. I know we probably primarily have a baseball crowd watching us right now, but if you guys have any interest in the uh, basketball side, it looks like it can go tonight. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, here it is. How about some old school Philadelphia Phils? Greg Luzinski. Philadelphia going off to Joe W. And that is a good looking auto as well. Very good looking autos across the board in this stuff. Greg Luzinski for you, sir. Congrats, congrats. Again, making us wait until the very end to see that auto. And then a Kyle Lewis and a Tiasca Hernandez. Last card. All right, guys, we're moving along here. Moving along. I need another base bucket. Give me a sec here. All right. Next box. We are down to four. We're 60% of the way there, guys. The bull. Who do we got? Blake Street Bombers. Blake Street Bombers. Colorado Rockies on this one. Bichette Galarraga Walker. There's one stack. And last pack, three boxes left after this. I keep hearing my messages wailing off. All right, here we go.
Nothing yet. And here it is. And here we go. I was calling out for a uh, bazooka. How about a Reese Hoskins? Shining Star, 70 years. 1991 Topps Bazooka Shining Star, Reese Hoskins, Philadelphia Phils. So the Phils got that nice Luzinski a minute ago. Now, Joe is scoring this one right here. Very nice, Joe. Congrats, buddy. Phils doing all right, bud. Back-to-back -back hits across two different boxes. Yeah, really nice. Why is Reese Hoskins? Like, uh, he looks like somebody from the 1970s. Like, uh, Catfish Hunter's Love Son or something. <laughs> it's like, he's got the look. What do we got? Yachty Air with some numbering to 99. Big three. All right, that's one stack. Second stack. And here it is. Very cool. All right. Little Tim. Delicious salmon action here. For the Angels. Angels in this one belong to Doug F. Doug getting one here. Congrats, congrats. A little outfield action. Tim Salmon for the Angels. So that's the second auto. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Some orange, some red foils. And, oh, that's pretty nice. Kyle Lewis, 70 years of baseball, numbered to 50. So I believe this is a red, is this a red foil? But it's the 70 year of baseball style, uh, style with the red foil. So very nice for the Mariners. Mariners, this one belongs to Nick T. Haven't seen John Cruck in a while. I feel like he's going to show up in the last three boxes. <clears throat> Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. He really did. Holy cow. He really did. And just a tad bit left here before we get into the last three. Boys of Zimmer, Gallon, and Colton Wong. All right, that does it for that one. He looks like Ron Swanson. So true. Speaking of Ron Swanson, have you guys seen or heard? There was a, a original show, I think it was on Hulu, last year, year and a half ago maybe, called Devs, D-E-V-S. It was kind of like a high-tech, like sci-fi-ish kind of uh, show. And Ron Swanson played the lead character in it. It was fantastic really good stuff it was about like quantum computers and like like crazy stuff the family coming up here pittsburgh parker stargell and singwillen if you have the opportunity to watch that show check it out it was really good it was just like a one season run it was just uh not an ongoing show What's the word? Ooh, baby. I see uh, Recon down to three. Three spots now, guys. Three to go.
What are the three spots? Any big teams left in there? Like, you know, multi-hundred dollar teams or anything? Crazy stuff in that recon? Can't look at the moment. All right, there is one stack. Come on. Where are we at? We are 56 minutes so far on this break. So probably another 20, 25 minutes between the last three boxes. Lakers, the Kings, and the Thunder. Final three spots. Guys, keep in mind that if uh, you're spending over 100 bucks after the coupon codes and whatever get applied, you're going to be in the running for an additional 5% insurance on the back end. Our Go Big rebate is still a thing. A lot of folks kind of don't even really remember we have those programs in effect. Go Big rebate, Last Spot Karma rebate, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm making pretty good time. I'm trying to. I'm trying my best. Swinging A's. The opening of the packs takes longer than the uh, showing of the cards. <laughs> oh, baby. That is a decent one right there. How about a Juan Soto? Washington Nationals, Joe W getting it. Joe watching it happen right there. That's beautiful, Joe. And you got numbering on this one to 99. 1963 tops peel off auto of Soto for the Nationals. 83 of 99, sir. Nice hit. Second one of these 1963 peel offs we're pulling out of this, and both of them with numbering, too. The elusive Dusty Baker. Yep. Tony seeing it, Joe seeing it. There it is, buddy. Congrats. Beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. Let's keep going. Sorry about Nightbot, Joe. Nightbot gets a little a little crazy. What a hit. I <laughs> we see orange coming up here in a second, too. I got an orange coming up. And here it is. How about a Willie Stargell to 15? 12 out of 15 for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh belongs to Mark C. Very nice, buddy. So that's two oranges. We've pulled several reds across these. That's the whole uh, reason you bought the Washington spot. Well, there it is. There it is, Joe. Congrats. And a beautiful one for Pittsburgh right behind it here to 15. All right, that's one. Moving it away. Second side. And here comes a green. What do we got? We've got a Marquez numbering to 125. Killer bees. And here it is. Got a Benny Ogbiani for the Mets. I think we pulled him in one of the previous cases, did we not? New York Mets, and again, he signs the hell out of it right there. Nathan on the ownership of the Mets. Good looking auto. 40th anniversary card. 
Congrats. Very nice. Matt's going to Nathan. Rod Carew, Eddie Murray. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Agbiani card came up one other time at least. And do we have anything else hiding in here? <clears throat> Uncle Larry's hiding. And Ozzy Albies. All right, we're down to the last two boxes. Let me get these off to the side. And let me take a sip of my beverage over here. Stay somewhat hydrated. All right, last two boxes coming our way. Got Slam Diego. Slam Diego for the poster. So, San Diego recipient on it. That's an empty box. So who put up their Christmas tree today? It seems like it's the thing to do. I woke up, Kathy already had ours up. She put up a Christmas tree. If you celebrate Christmas, that is. I see a bunch of friends on Facebook already doing it. Like, I guess it's the day to do it. All of our neighbors are out there over the weekend. I see putting up the Christmas lights. I can't get... Uh, Too much work. Too much work putting them up and too much work taking them down. Quite a few nice displays here, though. They're, like, really going all out. The one guy has the uh, utility pole all the way up, like, 30, 40 feet wrapped with lights. I'm like, this guy's getting up 40 feet on the utility pole to wrap it with lights. I, yes, Travis, <laughs> yes, yes. I am with you on that. <laughs> Clark Griswold, I mean, not quite, but... uh they really go, like, the, the neighborhood here for Halloween alone goes all out like crazy. We were here for last Christmas. I feel like they go a little crazier for Halloween than they actually do for Christmas. Last pack. I'm not sure how we're going to outdo that Soto card, but uh, we will certainly try. Let's see some uh, some fire coming up here. Nothing yet. Is this Luke Voigt with the black back? You guys tell me. I'm going to keep that Luke Voigt off to the side if that's any kind of uh, Halloween decorations. Yeah, Halloween decorations have become like the big thing.
Killebrew went flying out at me again. <laughs> Good one, Joe. Nice. And here we go. How about them twins? Rocco Baldelli. Is that the same guy that I pulled earlier? I don't think it is, right? This one's going to have some numbering as well with the uh, silver border. Twins on the board once again for... That's Doug F. on the ownership. And that is going to be numbered 97 of 99. So twins. Lots of SP and SSP. Yep. I'll put it in my uh, sleeve stack, that Voight card. All right, shuffling those off to the side. We're one auto in. Let's see what else we got. I see orange. Here it is. Orlando Cepeda for San Francisco. San Fran belongs to Nathan. That is a 4 out of 15. So the orange is still coming. And the second from the last box. Chugging along. Looking for one more auto. Got to be coming up. And here it is. How about Ron Washington? Ron Washington is going to be and it is going to be a Twins card. Yeah, Ron Washington Twins. So, Twins manager card a minute ago. Now Ron Washington for the Twins. And both of them going to Doug F. <laughs> Look at Jason's message. Oh, it's like a Daryl Strawberry card. It reminds me of the same thing. All right, Ron Washington, it is auto number two. Uh, Dick Allen and Josh Donaldson, last two. All right, guys, we're on to the final box. <laughs> All right, here we go. Box number 10. Number 10, what do we got? We got the Boys of Zimmer, Cubbies, coming up next on the poster. So the last poster goes to the Cubbies. Those all go to the respective teams. Empty box. <laughs> Jay's message, still getting love in the chat. Awesome. Bump and take keeps the Guys, three spots remain in the Recon Basketball. We'll be breaking it tonight if we can get it sold out down to zero. I'm going to be breaking the next archives after this one. Probably taking a couple minute break in between just to get a drink, get organized a little bit. But definitely looking to do the Recon break number two tonight if we can get it there. 40% off with the Cyber Monday coupon if you did not use it. 20% off. With Recon 20, if you already have used the big coupon, you can still get 20% off.
Can't do any better than that, fellas. We can't give it away for free. We're practically doing that as it is with 40% off coupons. But we'll go tonight if we can get it there. Last box, last pack, pierogi. Here we go. Did they save the best for last? Are we going to pull some kind of craziness? It does happen sometimes. All right, we got a Brent Rooker Twins to 150. All the numbered cards I'll sleeve up if they're, you know, a full on hit, of course, we'll fully encase them. That's also got the black border with the black back. That's got to be some kind of SP, right? Or maybe not. I guess the black border ones are more common than I'm giving them credit for. Yeah, they're super common. I'm just uh, doing bumps along with, uh, <laughs> along with Ron Washington over here. And here we go. Check this out. How about a little Joey Bart 2018 draft pick rookie card for San Francisco? Nathan, Jason's going to be a little jealous, I think. Numbering the 200, 58 of 200, 1994 Topps draft pick auto card from 2021 archives. Joey Bart, nice. Nice hit. First one of these I've seen in autograph form of the draft pick style. And that's a good one, man. Congrats. Alan Trammell and Jesus, last two cards. All right, let's look at the second side and see what we got. That was sweet. Yeah, booming it up. McKenzie, 2015 draft pick. Getting down to it here, fellas. I'll do a quick little hit recap on the autos once I get through it. Jackie Robinson. What's it going to be, guys? Who is the next auto? It's going to be in this stack of cards. And how about a Tatis? That's nice, man. Top 70th red hot foil version right here of Tatis. 31 out of 50 for the Padres. Nice little sneak in there. Padres going to Corey. We're still due our auto. It's got to be coming. I'm going real slow. And here it is. It is an MLB League. Lauren Shahady. We did pull her in one of the previous ones. MLB Network host Lauren Shahady. 
She's got a good-looking auto. She's not associated with any MLB team, so I will have to random up all 30 of the teams across uh, to figure out who gets ownership on the Lauren Shahidi card. But that's going to do it. Zach Gallen and Colton Wong, last two cards uh, in addition to that Lauren Shahidi. So, guys, I'll do a hit recap, and I'll figure out a random on that Shahidi card uh, in just a minute, and that will be posted as a separate video. So thanks again, guys. Do appreciate it. These will ship out of the next shipping batch from Vegas.